Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make the drop down menu scroll on its own when you're using a keyboard input or a controller input, something like that. So it'll look more like this going down rather than this bad one. And if you haven't already watched uh, Sam Yam's video on input with controllers and keyboard, I suggest you watch that first as it was a really good intro. But it does not cover this sort of thing so yeah and before you do that be sure to check out and wishlist monsters vs pals on the steam store page all right so how we ended up doing it was we got this special script uh, we named it scriptdale for no reason that ends up going on this item menu. So we're gonna recreate that for this one as well. Obviously normally you just drag it over, but we're gonna do it from scratch for the funds. So we'll call it UI drop down scroller. Open that up. Go ahead and drag this new one onto the item. And now we'll open it up. All right, we will be using start. We will not be using update. We will be using Unity Engine dot vent systems. We will also be using Unity Engine dot UI. fun by the way you do control D and it just copies the line down use that a lot um, we will also be using an interface this is called I select handler it comes from uh, the event system and you'll see it wants us to implement it so you can do control period implement interface that gives us this I'm going to put it at the bottom. So what this does is anytime the item gets selected, this will fire off and we can execute some code. So that'll be real nifty. All right. We want a private scroll rect is all that scrolling info. Just name it scroll rect. We also want the position we want the scroll, bo scroll bar to go to whenever this item is selected. So we'll call that scroll position. We'll start it at one as the default but it will change. So first we're gonna grab this scroll rect using code. Use git component in parent. So it'll go up the items food chain. We want the scroll rect. Now we have to use these because um, the drop downs are generated whenever you open it. I like to add true even though it's probably not too important that just make sure if anything happens to be inactive it'll still grab it. Right, then we're going to find out what the child count is in total. Because basically what we'll be doing here. see there's all these items this thing gets just generated whenever you open it and then you'll see all these items here we're going to count how many they are divide it by the total and we'll get what basically what we want the scroll bar to be at then we'll do a little bit of changing 
We will subtract this little invisible item that pops up for whatever reason. Probably just something that Unity has to do. So, int child count is equal to scroll rect dot content, which is where all the items are contained, transform dot child count. And then we're going to subtract that one that was the invisible one. Next, we're going to find out where this particular child, this item, if it's the first one, the second, whatever. So int child index equal to transform dot get sibling index. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I found out, is slightly change the child index based on if it's in the top half or the bottom half, and it just ends up looking a little better visually, and otherwise the top and bottom get a little cut off too. So we're going to do uh, some fancy looking stuff, child index, if it's less than... So you'll do float, don't forget to do that. The child count divided by two. If that is the case. Then we are going to subtract one. I like this looks odd. Did it give us an extra one? Yeah. Okay. Index minus one. Otherwise, we'll just keep it the same. All right. And then we're going to calculate the scroll position we want. It's nice. Easy calculation. So I'm going to do one minus again float child index divided by child count. And it did put an F here, though I think it doesn't matter since we already did that as a float, but just in case. That's our scroll position. Now we're going, now that it's uh, selected, we can use that. Scroll right dot vertical scroll bar dot value equals scroll position. And that should be good to go. Oh, by the way, this does end up throwing in an error the first time when it's generated and it selects the first value. That's because start hasn't run yet. So if that bothers you, you can do and that should prevent that error from being thrown in the first when it's first generated. So we already got that on there. Let's hit play, check it out. And yep, now we scroll. That's slightly cut off though. Uh, what I might do is probably just add a little extra room to the bottom. So I think I ended up adding a little bit there. See, is that good? Sometimes you just gotta finagle a little bit still with the UI values. That's better. You could 
do more whatever finagle with it how you like but this gets it pretty good and then you just have to adjust the numbers a little bit but yeah thank you for watching and again check out monsters vs pals that's my game i'm working on and is why i had to figure this out <laughs> so bye and go watch sam Young's video too on just basic navigation because that's really good and helps for a good starting point okay bye now